Okay, today we're gonna go through a custom ranch model here at Thousand Oaks. It's in Spring Grove, Illinois. It was just completed by Kalem Builders. And the landscaping's not in yet, but that's okay because the inside's all decorated. You're gonna love it. And we're lucky enough to have the builder, Kim Meyer, join us for today's tour. He'll be here in a few minutes, and you're gonna have a nice, in-depth tour of a custom ranch. Okay, before we start the tour, I just wanna give you a quick rundown on the specs of the home. Kim, how many square feet, how many bedrooms, baths? This is a single story ranch house that has three bedrooms on the main level. The master's on one side of the home, the guest bedrooms are on the opposite end of the home, so it's a nice split plan for privacy. Then there's two and a half baths on the main level, and uh, we also, all of our homes come standard with a full basement, so we finished the lower level, added another couple thousand square feet of living space down there, we added another bedroom and a bath, so we have a total of four bedrooms and three and a half baths in this model now. So we did 10 foot ceilings throughout the whole plan minimum and uh, normally you're seeing 8 foot ceilings or 9 foot ceilings. We, we opted for 10 foot as we do on a lot of our ranches. It really gives them a feeling of grandeur and space. Um, we added a fireplace to this model and it, it fits wonderfully in the corner of the house. That's actually a honed marble that we put on the face of the fireplace. It's a very efficient appliance. It'll actually heat the whole main level of this house. Oh really? It's probably 98% efficient. It's a direct vent gas unit, but it has a wonderful set of logs. It's a big firebox and a great flame pattern, so it looks like a real fire always, but it's also a, a great heater. Yeah, it's a great focal point, but it's good to have that efficiency as well. Right. And I noticed all the bank of windows you have here, plenty of natural light coming in. Yeah, all of our homes, we, uh, unlike the track builders, a lot of the national builders, we're, we're more custom, so we're really thinking about the quality and the uh, in every aspect of the design and we always have a lot of natural light so you'll see abundance of windows in our homes and typically to the viewing areas where you've got great views to the outdoors all right so we're going into the kitchen here tell me about this kitchen because it's got all the bells and whistles yeah this is uh this is really a kitchen for somebody who cooks and entertains there's lots of storage in the cabinetry. We did 15 inch deep upper cabinets which is unique most you know the standard for upper cabinets is always a 12 inch depth and, and as everybody knows it uses those cabinets, you always have trouble if you've got glasses in there or plates, they typically you're always having trouble closing the doors right. and fitting enough in the cabinet. Yeah. So we did 15 inch in all the uppers here, so it gives you a much extra depth for those plates and platters. On the other wall we did double ovens, so you've got two convection ovens that are built in as well as a, a wine storage, a wine cooler, so yeah. somebody's wine collection can be right in the entertainment space. Um, we did a big island and then we did a waterfall edge on this one, which again lends itself to more contemporary feel where the quartz tops come all the way to the floor on the ends of the cabinets. And this is silestone. Silestone is a quartz product. Quartz is a harder material than granite. You never have to seal it. More stain resistant than granite, so it's just a superb material to use for a kitchen countertop. And we did a microwave that's built into the island as well, and that's a drawer type microwave. Just operates by a push button feature. Uh, much easier, much more convenient if someone has some health issues and they can't reach up high. This is a great uh, application. We can do that in a lot of homes, put the microwave in the island or in the lower bank of cabinets. Again, we have uh, we have quite a variety of cabinets and, and features in this particular home. Lots of storage. In our pantries, we did roll out trays, which people love. Uh, all of our drawer boxes are full extension, so they open 100% of the way. You don't have to, you don't have to reach to get to the back of the drawers or the trays. So great for uh, great for canned goods, cereals, small appliances. All the cabinetry in this house, we did a soft close, solid wood drawer box, dovetail, and all the doors and drawers are, have the new soft close feature, which the consumer really loves. All right, so moving on from the kitchen, we have uh, just off the kitchen actually is a mud room. Yeah, this is a mudroom drop zone. Uh, so in this particular area, we have a, we have nice cabinetry when you first come in from the garage that allows you to set your cell phone down, charge your phones, leave your keys, anything that you might uh, want to take every time you come and go from the household. Uh, we also have a great powder room right off of the off the garage, which is great if you're working outside or you've got guests and you're entertaining, they come in here, they don't have to use the guest bathroom. Yeah, it's a very functional space. I love this actually. You don't have to walk through the laundry room when you enter the house. It's a, it's a little more formal, and, and but yet you've got a place where you can drop your shoes and, and we did a great porcelain tile on the floor so it's weatherproof. You don't got to worry about daining or scratching or doing anything to the tile if you've got gravel or other substance on your shoes. We 
used hard surface through the whole house except for the bedrooms. And we just put carpet in those bedrooms because a lot of people like a little warmer substance and more cushiony, it's much softer. The carpets we used in this house are all by Mohawk. The fiber, it's called Smart Strand Silk. Silk means that it's ultra soft. You know, you could touch this product and it, it feels good to the touch. It's got a great hand. The other thing about this fiber is it's stain proof. You put a lifetime warranty on stains. So you could drop wet wine on the carpet. You could dump Coca-Cola on the carpet, fingernail polish, and a week later you can take it out with water. Really, it doesn't soak in? It doesn't soak into the fibers. So it's, it's a phenomenal product. Uh, and it's also, it has their pet all pet warranty, which means you won't stain it with any pet issues neither. So it's a fantastic carpet. So you uh, avoid stains and all that, but also the odor too, right? The odor too, yep. And the master bath, of course, is right off the master bedroom. Uh, we did a freestanding soaking tub. Uh, the freestanders are getting extremely popular. That is the, that's the look that we sell the most, and even remodels today won't go on tearing out existing bathrooms. People want to get rid of that corner jacuzzi whirlpool type tub they never use, and they want a deeper freestanding, more modern looking soaking tub. So we did that here. We also did a, a great walk-in shower and uh, a clear glass shower enclosure. All of our shower enclosures that we sell, we, we always have an H2 off coating on the inside of the glass. That prevents the glass from getting streaked and watermarked. So the water just beads off the glass. It's an industrial coating that should last forever. We also use a great porcelain tile in here. This is a tile we import from Spain. Uh, the best porcelains in the world are made in Spain and Italy. And uh, again, it's a larger format tile. We did 24 by 24 inch on the floor. And then we did 12 by 24s on all the walls. We did some LED under counter, under tow space lighting here. It's a nice feature and you could use it and leave that on at night as a night light even. It uses almost zero energy and it's... Uh... And on the opposite side of the home from, from the master suite, again, it's totally at the other end of the home, so it creates great privacy for the owners and their guests, for adult children or older children. Uh, we did two additional bedrooms and, uh, and a private guest bath here as well. Before we head downstairs, let me show you uh, the deck that we did off of the, off of the kitchen and uh, breakfast area. No maintenance uh, proposition. Uh, we use hidden faster, so you don't see any screws through the surface of the wood at all. So unlike the treated decks that everybody's accustomed to, this is a lifetime deck. And then we do a powder coated aluminum handrail. So it's very sturdy, very strong. And on the exterior of all of our homes, too, one thing we did is we, we used uh, Hardy Siding, James, it's by James Hardy Company, and, and it's, a, it's really a cement product. So it's, uh, unlike cedar, you'll never chip, crack, warp, or peel, and it'll last, it'll last forever. Yeah, in the basement, uh, you see we got a lot of windows. We got lots of natural light. We did four foot tall windows all around the back and the side of the, the basement. And what about these floors? Flooring that we used here is a great product. Uh, this is uh, what we call luxury vinyl tile, and it looks like hardwood. And uh, in this case, we did three different widths. There's a, a three inch, a five inch, and a seven inch width. It's actually waterproof, so you never have to worry about maintenance, uh, and it's a lifetime residential warranty, so it'll, you'll never wear it out. It'll be a floor that you'll have here forever. I'd like to invite anybody out to uh, see this beautiful model. It's at, uh, it's at our Thousand Oaks subdivision. Within a five or 10 mile radius, you can tour four of our ranch models that we have furnished and decorated out here. So we'd love to have you take a look. Okay, so that's it for today's tour. Hope you enjoyed it. And it was really nice that Kim was able to take us through the home. I hope you got more out of it that way. Um, Thousand Oaks is the community, Spring Grove, Illinois, KLM Builders. I'll put a link below so you can check out more about it. I'll see you next tour.